Hello to everybody in the PSA group, wherever you are across the globe. It's great to talk to you through this uh, video today so that we can look at 2020 and also look forward a little bit into 2021. The crisis in 2020 has been unprecedented. It has stretched our economy, it has stretched our governments, the healthcare systems, and I think all of us have clearly never seen something like this for the last uh, few decades. PSA recognised the danger of uh, COVID-19 very early and together with our normal way of dealing with issues, the PSA family has come together and worked as a group in order to combat uh, the pandemic. As you know, we recorded incidents, infections, and also a few fatalities, which practically all of them actually came from the communities where our operations are embedded. So our thoughts are with those families who have lost a family member, a friend, or someone in the community. Our thoughts are with them and we will do whatever is possible also in 21 uh, to work together so that we can minimize uh, the infection cases and certainly also uh, the fatalities. As a group in 2020 we achieved in my opinion a very good result. Our volume was 86.6 million TEUs on a global basis, which is actually above uh, the 2019 results, so 1.7. And here is roughly um, 36.6 million TEUs in Singapore and some 50 in, uh, in the rest of the world. The 50 million is roughly 3.7% higher than last year, and Singapore is slightly down 0.9%. This is obviously not just uh, our operations from the current ports, it also is actually what we have uh, added to the group through acquisitions. So let me say here on behalf of the board and on behalf of me personally, a big, big thank you on how you have actually achieved during such a difficult year uh, like 2020, such a good results. The performance which you have shown is also in the category of unprecedented because it has been achieved during very, very difficult times. You had a lot of lockdowns around you. We were living in communities which also were um, affected by the, uh, by the pandemic on a continuous basis. But it has shown that we can do our part, uh, that the world can move on that we also supply them through our um, uh, normal work in the ports with our uh, cargo solutions, but also our normal container handling so that the world still keeps ticking. So looking now at 2021, uh, maybe the last part of 20, we have seen that the vaccine is coming in uh, to many countries now and, and the vaccination has started. That's a real logistical uh, challenge. Most of it is done by air at the moment, but it's not just getting the vaccine into the right place. It is also actually the speed and efficiency of other um, equipment which, are, um, which is needed to actually drive through this uh, pandemic. And here what comes to mind is swaps, it's, it's the masks, it's medical instruments, etc. And most of that actually is by sea. And that's where we as PSA can make a huge difference. We can uh, build on our expertise which we have on the container handling and um, uh, the cargo solutions again. And for 2021, I would really urge all of us to help society, to help governments, the health systems to drive this um, in an unprecedented way again, so that actually we can help to combat the pand uh, pandemic. Now, most experts actually do believe that the vaccine does, over time, defeat uh, COVID-19. So I would urge all of you 
to listen to your local health uh, advice and then decide uh, to take the vaccine, yes or no. I think it is an important step for all of us uh, that we can win against COVID-19, that most people actually get the vaccine uh, during 21 and maybe early uh, 22. Now also at the same time, and we talked about this with, uh, with the board and management, uh, there is another major um, task is needed, which is actually combating climate change. And you know we have talked a lot uh, during 2020 on how PSA can add uh, to uh, this fight against co uh, climate change, how we can actually drive sustainability into our operations. We do a lot already, but I think if I look forward over the next two, three years, even more has to be done. And I think it starts with all of us as individuals. Maybe it's always seen that our, what we do as individuals is a small part, but you add that together. And if you then actually look what collective um, kind of approaches can deliver, we should not be shy of, of doing that in a, in a big, big way. And it's the small things we can do. It's how much waste we uh, produce, how much water we use, how we actually generate um, the electricity which we need in, in our operations, in the ports, etc. And we have plans as PSA, we discussed this uh, also with management and under the leadership of Zhong Meng, uh, we are building this into our plans and we have got great um, ambitions on sustainability and on uh, combating climate change. Also our shareholder, Temasek, is changing their investment model, is changing the way they want to actually help uh, the TPCs, so the Temasek portfolio companies, in actually driving a sustainable future. So for 21, I think we have no doubts that COVID-19 will still be with us. It's going to be a tough year, and therefore I would urge all of you to be very uh, alert, vigilant, prepare for a tough 21, but do it in the same way like 20. Safety first, health first, stay safe, protect your family, protect your colleagues, and therefore also help to protect the community. At the same time, let's make sure that we deliver our business in the best way. Um, through what we can do best, which is in the cargo solutions, but also in the, uh, the terminal and in the container handling. And we should not actually stop in developing our various initiatives which we have across the world of adding um, new business areas to our um, base business which we operate at the moment and through that actually generate the future which is even more promising than what we have seen so far. So stay safe, thank you again for the tremendous effort in 2020 and on behalf of your board, my board colleagues and myself, I wish you and your families all the best in 2021 and I look forward to see some of you hopefully in 2021 when I visit some of our operations uh, across the world. Thank you very much and see you soon.